Hello and welcome to Professional Tutors. We are a team of dedicated and qualified teachers whose main aim is to help you reach your full potential. Hello. Here we are in our outside lab. Last week I did something with this leaf. Can you remember what I did? I used a couple of chemicals first one was to remove its green colour called chlorophyll, important word. Some of you actually wrote that in when you did the di when you did your diagrams, you put chlorophyll and chloroplast, which is amazing because the chlorophyll is a green colour. Now I removed that so we could see the important starch underneath. Now it went pale and I put the iodine on and it went from the orange colour to dark purple black which showed that it had got starch. I also showed you with the potato as well because the potato contains a lot of starch and I put it in there. Lots of foods contain starch which is why it's part of our diet. Now last year we started looking, well we did look at um, ourselves, the topic ourselves which looked at diet, looked at um, what we like as humans, life cycle, uh, variation so we're going to be putting some of that together and linking it with this now the reason that I wanted to do this experiment was to show you the importance of starch because in the leaf can you remember I said last week the leaf makes something called glucose like that. and I showed you the little grains of glucose and I dropped them in some water and it dissolved meaning it's soluble We're having a little bit of trouble today because of the wind, but there you go. Now, plants can't, doesn't, they don't want to store it as glucose because the rain would wash it away. So they store it as starch, if you can remember from recap from last week. Now what they do with the starch, they very cleverly bond the glucose together. And that makes them insoluble, it stops them from dissolving. And that's why I got the potato and I put it in the water and that didn't dissolve, but I put the sugar in and that dissolved in the water so moving on which is why I wanted to do this was to show you the importance of starch I want to show you lots of different foods and we're going to test for starch to see whether it's got it in by using the iodine solution now some foods don't contain starch but we still need them in our diets the balanced diet now there's something called and I'm going to put this on the classroom and it's a triangle you sometimes see it as a triangle and you sometimes see it as a plate and at the top you've got the foods that we should eat the less of and at the bottom the foods that we eat the most of but I'll put that onto the classroom for you to have a look and that's a task I want you to do today I want you to do your own for me now last year you did a really nice job of doing a, a balanced diet menu now it is important that we have a balanced diet for you to be able to function properly to be able to do what you do and starch is the main source of energy for us like I've said we need it to be able to get jobs done that's what energy is for um, you get energy from fuel that's why you put fuel in a car we need fuel ourselves to be able to do jobs that we do so today I'm going to test certain foods for starch now I want you to put the title on a piece of paper testing for starch right now the first one that I'm going to try is butter let's see butter is known as dairy and dairy comes from cows along with milk so let's have a look then I'll put the butter this is called a spotting plate now this is something that we'll look at again later on and you can have a go but it's important that I demonstrate these things to you because you get a better idea of what it's all about. Now there's a bit too much in there. Any idea what this is called? Find out and let me know. We used it a lot in science and there's different sizes. Find out what it's called and let me know. I'll be impressed there. Right, let's put this on. As you can see, looking at that, there's no change. So we could say, butter yes or no next to butter I'm going to put no let's have a look what else we got then um, here if it'll 
stay there and not blow away. This is challenging, I'm telling you. All right, let's have a look at the bread. What do you think with bread? Let's have a look. Whoa, look at that. Look at the amount of starch in that. Now, we use, we use, we eat it's a lot of bread, don't we? You know, you can eat too much of it, really. Um, but let's put bread. Yes or no? Fairly obvious, isn't it? Yes. So bread is part of our diet that we use to give us energy. So it contains starch. It's gone really black there. Um, we also eat fruits. Yeah. This is a piece of banana. Which is all sticky. Hence the lab coat. This is challenging keeping this here. Right. Let's have a look. What did I say it was? Banana. Make a prediction. Do you think it contains starch? Yes or no? Do we get energy from bananas? Shall we see? Now, if you leave that a while, it's starting to go black. Look, there's not as much starch as there is in the bread, but indeed, one second, you can see it's starting to go. There's lots and lots of starch in there look it's just taking a little bit of time because it's got like a waxy layer banana as so it's taken time for the iodine to get through but look at that this is probably well it is factual why you see tennis players I mean their energy that they need for what they do playing at three hours at a time I think some people I um, can't remember then at Federer people like that they'll play for hours on end what do they eat in between match in between the next go and the next match they eat bananas Bananas have got lots of energy, it's a great food. So therefore, this is highlighting to you the importance of starch. You know, animals eat bananas, monkeys eat bananas. Mon I mean, when you consider the strength of the monkey and gorillas and things like that. We eat bread, lots of breads. Animals don't eat bread, because it doesn't grow in the wild, does it? But what makes up the bread does, yeah? Wheat, oats, clue there. So, what we've got here, I'm hoping this will come out probably cooked in the in the heat yeah it's coming in fact what I'm gonna do with that I'm gonna let that come down a bit more right that's egg I'm gonna let, put that there like that and that will come down what I'm going to do is test milk ah oh, notice the mistake I should have put a yes next to banana shouldn't I because it does look at that now it's incredible Back. all right so, what do we think with the milk? What did I say milk was? I said it was dairy. 